Just when you thought it was safe. Here's Molly. Kevin, and I must say that uh, it's great to see ABC back on the charts. So uh, uh, They've had some fine songs out. Been very quiet for a while, but when Smokey sings, that's a great song. All right, now listen, uh, one great songwriter, uh, singer-songwriter in this country, I still say the group uh, totally underrated in this country as far as acceptance is concerned, is The Church. Well, this time around, uh, Steve Kilby hasn't, uh, the lead singer, of course, hasn't brought out an album as far as with the group is concerned, but has done a double. This is the writings of Steve Kilby, and they're not like, well, they are sort of like poems, but they're little stories within stories. There's some excellent stuff in this. I found it absolutely, I, once I started reading them, I honest to God could not put this book down. Congratulations on that. And I'm sure you'll, everyone will find it very interesting, the writings of Stephen. And he's also done an album, which I guess is the score to this particular book. And it's superbly done. And even on itself, even if you haven't read the book, you'll really enjoy this album. But I suggest have a listen to the album because it's a score in itself, beautiful music, and, and this book because it's, it's some beautiful writings in that book. Congratulations to Steve and we hope to see you at the awards. All right, Bon Jovi are about to tour this country and undoubtedly it's going to be one of the biggest tours to hit here this year. And uh, when you consider that they weren't really known or really big in this country uh, earlier this year and they've been turned right around and become one of the biggest groups, not only here, but of course across the world. Well, they're coming to Australia. Let's have a look at Wanted, Dead or Alive and the tour dates. Bon Jovi, will you be there, Gavin? I like that song, You Give Love a Bad Name. I'm sure you do. Well, you've done it. Right, there it is, Bon Jovi touring the country and it should be a really hot tour. Now, last week I spoke about the Australian Maid uh, concert, which is now just uh, starting at all the cinemas across the country. And of course I was at that concert, it was a great time at that concert, the one in January. It, it, was, uh, it rained in Melbourne, did you get your hat wet? Uh, yes, it did rain in Melbourne and yes, I did get my hat wet. And in fact, uh, were you there, Gavin? Yes, I saw you dancing, made a frightful display. That was when he didn't actually have a job and he was working behind the hot dog stand. <laughs> anyway, the film is out now and now there is also a book and it was compiled by Grenade Baker, the rock historian, and it's a beautiful book, this. It gives the whole account of the entire tour. And look, there's some just some wonderful photographs in this. Um, who took the, the, the Bobby King, uh, the top rock photographer in the country, took the photographs, and it is quite a superb book. So if you want to know all about what happened on the Australian May tour, uh, don't only go and see the film, get the book as well. It's a tour called Gonna Have a Good Time Tonight. And of course, uh, Good Times is still roaring up the charts uh, with, uh, with Jimmy and In Excess. All right, let's have a look at one, uh, one performance from uh, the Australian Made concert in the film, The Models, Out of Mind. This sums up Countdown a couple of weeks. Out of Mind, Out of Sight. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Molly. That's Molly on the right there. Too. All right, there it is, uh, the Australian Made concert, of course, the models, and uh, don't forget, go and, see the, go and see the film, you won't regret it. All right, the awards are on, of course, and of course, it takes on a new perspective, as I said last week, it is the final countdown. In fact, Gavin will be there, and we'll just do a little rehearsal with Gavin, yeah. and 9, 10, 8, 7, 6, and Gavin will say, welcome. Welcome to the 1986 Countdown Music and Video Awards, the last one. <laughs> it's a lot of rehearsal, the boy, a lot of rehearsal. Anyway, don't forget that they're on, uh, on the 19th of July. It's going to be a fantastic night. Uh, the uh, performances alone are, are just something worth seeing. We've got, well, when they talk about international acts, we've got Swing Out Sister coming out and a few others. But the big international acts are, of course, uh, John Farnham, who's number six this week in England, Crowded House, who are number eight this week in America, and, of course, Pseudo Echo with Funky Town, who are number seven this week in America. They're all going to be on the show, including Jenny Morris and Boom Crash Opera Wawani. The and Mentals, Greedy's going to compare the show with Paul Hester helping him. It's going to be a fantastic night. And the presenters, well, we're going to have a wide variety of presenters. And my mate from MTV, Richard Wilkins, will be there. The neighbours, uh, people who've come on the show, Jason O'Donovan and Kylie Minogue, who's actually performing next week on Countdown, they'll be there on the night. And that heartthrob, 
Peter O'Brien, who's about to start in The Flying Doctors, and I only saw on the Ray Martin show the other day that he has a fear for, for flying, so how he's doing The Flying Doctors, I don't know, but he'll definitely be there if the plane doesn't crash with him on the night. Only joking, Peter. All right, let's have a look at the number seven record. Let's all give them applause, because it's well done. Shooter Echo, number seven in America, with Funky Town. Go, boys, well done. Three. Well, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Talk about it, talk about, talk about, talk about moving. Gotta move on. Well, oh, talk about it, it's going to be a fantastic night. Don't forget, Shooter Echo are actually performing that night. In fact, I think they be, could be doing their next American single, which is Listening, which of course was the one that uh, Countdown discovered them on and was the first uh, show to play them. All right, now listen, one act that are superb and they are really big in Sydney and I have no doubt over the next uh, coming months they're going to be big right around the country. We had them on the show a couple of weeks ago, the Lime Spiders, hail from Sydney, as I said. This album, The Cave Comes Alive, well, believe me, this album really does come alive. It's a great album. Do yourself the old favour, have a listen to it. And a new magazine is out, it's called Rage, it's in, uh, in the newsstands this week. It's a new magazine, it's got some great stories in it. Uh, sort of like a Rolling Stone, but excellently done. And on the back here, if you want to know why, why I stay up all night, well, that's the reason why.